Okay. All right. Okay, YouTubers, it is. What is it? Saturday. Okay, it yesterday. So this is October 2nd. Yeah, raining again today. Um, uh, hmm. It's only drizzling now. Well, actually, it's not even drizzling now. But there was quite a downpour earlier today. Okay, what was I saying? It is... Again, it is Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. 2.04 p.m. Still Houston. Okay, just came back from Whole Foods. Right. Got organic grapes. Clean up the refrigerator again. Got more avocados. This time they're organic. Um, I did see a pack that was dark. And I kind of squished it a bit. Yeah, it's, it, it was ripe. I could have gotten those if I wanted to. But I still have two I need to finish off today. And these are green. Hard to the touch. So that's going to be at least a week, probably two weeks, before if I store it in the uh, refrigerator. Probably two weeks before I can eat that. Yeah, this time I made sure those were organic. And organic potatoes. Yeah, I know they say sweet potatoes are better, but I'm trying to, uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get rid of, um, where is it? This. This is I bought at least a couple of months ago. Linguini Organic Macaroni Product. At least I got organic. But anyway. Sodium 0%, cholesterol 0%, total fat 1%, dietary fiber 7%, total carbohydrates 15%, include 0 of added sugars contains what does it contain? Organic durum wheat semolina contains wheat may contain eggs so whatever whether you're trying to stay gluten free or whatever supposedly that's Pastas are not that great. Okay, your total savings three ninety five. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see if I can find out what where I got my savings. Anyway, my total savings is about four bucks. So if I'm saving at least a couple of bucks every time I go there, I go there. Yeah. Covers half the membership. I don't know. And then the free shipping not having to work. Oh, yeah. And yes, I did order. This guy knows what he's done with. Well, I tell you. <laughs> I'm definitely getting into this stock. But anyway. How much should I do? All this stuff is. No, that wasn't all. I still have some more stuff, but. Okay, 10 items, total 28.65, total savings is 3.95. What else did I get? Okay, um, now I'm getting the uh, popcorn. I got light buttery flavor, organic, microwave. Popcorn, that was good enough. So, whatever. Uh, I went for the lemon juice instead of the lime juice. 
They were both the same price today, so I don't know. Maybe it was on sale before. But whatever. Lemon, lime juice, whatever. Uh, organic bananas, more good bananas. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, bananas. What else did I get? Yeah, garbanzo beans. I went ahead and got the no salt added one. I'm going to use this whether for the uh, lentil pasta thing. Or to get rid of the this pasta thing. But I still have one of these, so whatever. I'm still about getting rid of that. But I do need to get rid of the avocado thing first. So odds are I won't do the, the linguine thing until tomorrow. And I was running out of milk. Didn't have that one on this. There it is. The, uh, that's organic, unsweetened, original almond milk. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Um, what else? I went to the bike shop before going to uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, I took my bike forwarded to the bu uh, bus stop, caught the bus, go to the bike shop. Apparently, the back brakes do not mesh properly. To quote the person at the, uh, at the bike shop, he realizes, well, I'm not quoting, I'm sort of paraphrasing the person at the bike shop. He realizes I got the product, the bike, right out of the, the box and all that. But I, according to him, it was like a ticking time bomb or whatever it was from the point I got it out of there. Because I didn't remember it having any problems prior to uh, getting the, uh, my rear tire blowing out. And me taking it in there, and then having to uh, remove the brake to get to the tire, or whatever it was. So, I'm still in doubt as far as what's going on with that, the brakes. But apparently, uh, the mechanic that adjusted the brakes got the uh, the head mechanic whatever to look at it as well and yeah they're not gonna be able to mesh the, the thing whenever the caliper isn't coming into contact properly or whatever whatever it is so uh, basically means no panic breaking on this sucker because um, if anybody's ever had a bike without any back brakes, if you're only using the front brake and you press it too quickly, put too much brake, you go flying over the handlebars. So, whatever it is, I realize this is the cheapest e-bike out there, but uh, this is not the first bike I've had where the rear brakes weren't 100%. So I have had that experience of flying over the handlebars. And I did not enjoy it one little bit. Pump down. So I have to be mindful that the back brakes are not going to work properly. And 
There's going to be way too much pressure on the, uh, I still have my ring pan, so. There's going to be too much pressure on the, what's it? Yes, and I'm glad I put them on, too. There's going to be too much pressure on the front brakes and not enough on the back brakes, so it's a dangerous combination because if you panic brake, you're going to go flying over the handles, so you just have to be mindful of that and, yeah, not do that. But anyway, this is not the first time I would have to deal with this kind of setup. So nothing new here. Well, it's kind of so a bit wide. All right, so yeah, my shoes are soaking. But yeah, it was quite a downpour earlier today. What else? Um, I ordered airless tires today on Amazon. So I showed one of the people over there, personnel over there at the bike shop, and I asked if they'd be able to install it. And he says they weren't familiar with it. He took it out he took it to the, the mechanics. They're not familiar with it, but they'll certainly give it a try. So I guess I'll be back there next week. I should be receiving the tires sometime this week. When I get that, I'll head over there and let them put that in there. I am, I have to fill this thing up with air every morning, by the way. What was it, two, three days ago? Oh, like I said, I'm glad I had uh, gone to the, uh, the UPS store during the week because it did end up needing it. But that morning when I discovered the thing was flat, I hadn't opened the package yet, I hadn't you know, played around with it or anything, so I ended up calling Lyft and uh, yeah, going that way with it. So, which was just as well because uh, yeah by the time I figured out everything and got air into the tire it was too late to start off on my journey but it was also raining that morning so there was a good chance I would have probably lived anyway anyway I'm finding I have to fill the tire up every morning now, which I do not enjoy. So again, I want with the uh, tireless thing. Hey, I was quite prepared to just ride around with a flat, okay, and stick just bits, of strips of rubber in the dang thing if it came to that, uh, to if I needed if I damage the the rim by doing that but whatever if I can find a, a, for, a reasonably priced uh, airless tire and they can install it so that's what I ended up doing okay I'll probably put a link to the, the Amazon Tireless thing that I ordered in the description thing. And I did add information to my uh, Houston commute, Houston commuting part 10. I put in a couple of other uh, e bikes that look promising. I'm really focusing in on. Swagtron, what was it? Swagtron EB5. Because not only is it 
is the battery removable, but it's also a foldable bike, which I've found invaluable considering I use lift so much. I can fold that thing up and put it any in any truck uh, trunk, no matter how small the car is, and have no problem. You know. And it's also lightweight. Uh, the Swagtron thing. The Swagtron e, EV5 and EV12, which is more or less a standard size bike that doesn't fold. They're both lightweight, which is the other strong selling point for me. If you've ever lived in a building without an elevator, you would be thinking about things like that too. Believe me, it does become an issue quickly. Okay, so, oh, I did get a new light. So, let me see. Take this up a little. Nah, I'm just going to leave it on. Okay. So, um, back, uh, I'm back to being lit up again, so that's good. And the good thing about this thing is I don't even need batteries. You can uh, recharge it with a UBS port thing. So I don't even need batteries. This costs $30. Let me see the exact price of this thing. Yeah, it's got a variety of modes, but I like the flashing one. It's pretty impossible not to see that. And that cost, with tax and everything, see, blue line, that cost, what it cost, $32.47, uh, 46 cents. So it was $29.99, $2.47 with tax, so total came out to $32.46. So, yeah, let me attach that to the, uh, what's it's, the packaging. You never know, right? And, uh, yeah, what's it called? Lazine Rear LED Light KTV Drive Pro 75 UBS Charging Was on KTV Drive Pro Rear 75 Black. www.lazine.com. Okay, that's the packaging it comes in. So, yeah. All right, so what else? That's it, what I can think of. I have that exercise link I put in there. I also connected it to a playlist thing. Um, I gotta find my gloves and wash this blanket thing I have. It's starting to get winterized. I don't know if I'll do that today or next week. Probably next week. And that's it. I'll take my multivitamins. 
I try to I'll try to be mindful with this exercise thing. I'll try to start that thing out. I'm eating as well as I can for the moment. Um, eyeballing senior apartment buildings, senior living apartment buildings. I only got a couple of months or so. Uh, I don't qualify yet, but I will in a couple of months or so. So, uh, two or three months. And uh, I'm waiting to see if I actually have a disposable income. Before I make any other decisions. The uh, $100 I had to deposit for the M1 finance thing. I haven't gone back to that. So I need to do that now. Let's see how I set that up. I've already listed my companies and the percentage I'm thinking about. So that's just transferring the information from one to the other. And that's it. Just try not to, to let my perishables get uh, perished. And I'm tired. It's no small feat running around, getting drenched, and uh, trying to put everything in order. Let me start getting along in the two. Okay, I'm boring myself, boys and girls, so that's more than enough time. It's already more than 20 minutes. I will update you next week, I hope, that nothing else comes up that compels me to uh, upload a video sooner than that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I forgot something, but uh, too bad. Next time I better make notes and jot it down. Talk to you later, YouTubers. Take care.